Hey Spring Boot Enthusiasts! Welcome back to the channel. Ever wondered about the magic that happens behind the scenes when you hit that API endpoint? Today, we're diving deep into the very heart of Spring Boot, the dispatcher servlet. Think of it as the ultimate traffic cop of your application, directing every incoming request to its perfect destination. But how does it do that? How does it manage to handle your requests and serve up responses so seamlessly? Whether you're a seasoned developer or someone just starting their Spring Boot journey, this video will give you a crystal clear understanding of what makes the dispatcher servlet tick. So grab your coffee, hit that like button, and let's dive into the fascinating inner workings of Spring Boot. Let's go! Imagine you're at a large, bustling airport. When you arrive, you might feel lost, you don't know where your gate is or which direction to head. But right in the center of the airport, there's a help desk. Now, the agent at the desk doesn't fly the planes or even manage the gates, but they ask you a few simple questions. What's your flight number? Or where's your destination? Based on your answers, they guide you to the right gate, ensuring you're on your way. This is exactly how Spring Boot's dispatcher servlet works. It's like the help desk agent for your application, guiding each request to its proper handler or controller. Ready to see how it does this? All right. Let's make this super engaging with an example you can relate to. Imagine you're ordering food at a restaurant. You tell the waiter, I want a margarita pizza. Here's how it maps to the dispatcher servlet workflow. First client sends a request. You as the client make a request. I want a pizza. Similarly, when a client sends a get slash get employee detail request, it first lands at the dispatcher servlet, which acts like the restaurant's manager. Second, dispatcher servlet asks handler mapping. The manager doesn't know how to cook the pizza but knows who does. The manager checks the order and says, this goes to the pizza chef. The dispatcher servlet consults handler mapping to figure out which controller, or chef in our case, should handle this request. For the get slash get employee detail request, it points to the employee controller. Handler adapter calls the method. Now the manager tells the chef, prepare one margarita pizza. Similarly. The handler adapter executes the get employee detail method in employee controller, which prepares the requested data. Message converter prepares the response. The chef finishes the pizza and puts it in a box, ready for delivery. In the same way, the message converter takes the Java object returned by the controller method and converts it into JSON or another format for the client. Response is sent back. Finally, your pizza is served at your table, or in the app's case, the JSON response is sent back to the client. And there you have it, a piping hot pizza served fresh, or your API data delivered seamlessly. Sparkles the dispatcher servlet is the restaurant manager that orchestrates the entire flow. Without it, your request would be lost in chaos. Now, let's take a look at the code behind the scenes that brings this process to life. All right, let's dive into the inner workings of the dispatcher servlet. As you can see on my screen, the dispatcher servlet class is at the heart of the request processing flow. When a client request comes in, the dispatcher servlet kicks off its magic by calling the doDispatch method. This is where all the action happens. The dispatcher servlet first calls the getHandler method. Think of this step as asking, who should handle this request? For example, if the request is get slash get employee detail, it identifies the corresponding controller, let's say the employee controller. Once the handler controller is identified, the dispatcher servlet calls the get handler adapter method. Why? Because it needs a handler adapter to figure out how to invoke the handler's method. Think of the handler adapter as the instruction manual that tells the dispatcher servlet how to interact with the handler. Now that it has the handler and the adapter, the dispatcher servlet uses the handler adapter to execute the actual business logic in the controller. For example, the get employee detail method in employee controller might fetch data from the database. Finally, the result is passed through view resolvers and message converters to convert the data into a format the client expects, like JSON or XML. Now, let's run the application to verify everything works as expected. But before we do that, let's enable detailed logs to see the magic happening step by step. To enable the logs, at logging.level.org.springframework.web.servlet equals debug in application.properties. 
By enabling these logs, we'll be able to see the dispatcher servlet and all the behind-the-scenes work it does. It's like turning on the spotlight to see the inner workings of Spring Boot as it handles the request. Now, start the application. Our application is up and running. Go ahead and clear your console logs so we can clearly see the fresh logs generated by request. Now, let's switch over to Postman. Pick any REST API you want to hit. It could be one you've recently worked on or something you're experimenting with. For this demo, I'll go ahead and hit the header 1 API. The response is here. As you can see, it's successfully displayed on my screen. Now, let's switch over to IntelliJ and take a closer look at the logs to understand how this magic happened behind the scenes. Alright, now let's take a look at the logs together. As you can see on my screen, the dispatcher servlet has been initialized. This happens only for the first request, as it sets up all the configurations needed for the application to handle incoming requests smoothly. Next, check this out, our dispatcher servlet has started processing the API request. It's logging the path and HTTP method, which are crucial for resolving the correct handler. Now, moving further in the logs, you can clearly see it has identified the handler for this request, which is our demo controller. And right after that, boom, our API method got executed. Finally, notice how the dispatcher servlet logs the status code before sending the response back to the client. This shows the full journey of our request, from entering the dispatcher servlet to reaching the right controller and sending back the response. Isn't it incredible how Spring Boot manages this entire flow for us behind the scenes? This is what makes it such a powerful framework. If you want to dive even deeper into the process and see exactly what's happening step by step, you can add debug points in your code and start the application in debug mode. This way, you can pause the execution at critical points, like when the dispatcher servlet is resolving the handler or when the controller method is called, and analyze the flow in detail. Alright, let's wrap it up. Today, we took a fascinating journey into the world of the dispatcher servlet, the traffic cop of Spring Boot. We saw how it seamlessly handles incoming requests, resolves the right handlers, and sends responses back to the client. Pretty amazing, right? We also dove into the logs to uncover what happens behind the scenes and even explored how you can debug your application to see every detail in action. If you enjoyed this session and learned something new, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more developer-friendly, easy-to-follow Spring Boot tutorials. Also, hit that bell icon so you're notified when we release our next video, where we'll break down even more exciting Spring Boot concepts. Until then, keep learning, keep building, and happy coding. See you in the next one.